Good morning, friends. As we know that Streptococcus pneumoniae is very important uh, causative agent for pneumonia in children, and also this pneumococcus infection is very riskful. As we see in the age group more than 65 years, or those having any chronic condition like chronic kidney, chronic liver disease. So for them, we have this pneumococcal vaccine, which we should know when we give. What are the different type of vaccines which can be given and in what age group? So let's start with the, this new video that is on the pneumococcal vaccines. So what are the indication for this pneumococcal vaccines? So that these vaccines can be given in the children that is at the age of two months, four, six months. That means uh, when we give the vaccination for the DPT. So at that combination, we can give this pneumococcal vaccine, and booster is given at 12 to 15 months. Then it can be given to uh, all the person who having the age more than equal to 65 years. Then in case of 19 to 64 years. those people who have the risk factor like that of alcohol intake is there that is in a heavy quantity or smoking is there chronic heart disease chronic liver chronic lung disease or there is any case of diabetes mellitus so all these chronic condition gives the indication that pneumococcal vaccine should be given to that person then those person as we know that this bacteria streptococcus pneumoniae which is a gram positive cocci it is a capsulated bacteria so this uh, related to your spleen if there is a asplenia if there is any sickle cell disease or hemoglobinopathy so all these are also indication for because these people are susceptible for infection with the streptococcus pneumoniae so therefore it is very important to give pneumococcal vaccine for these Uh, disorders and also in case of the immunocompromised person so these are very important uh, indications where we can give this pneumococcal vaccines so one of the vaccine is 23 valent pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine as uh, we also called it as ppsv23 so as the name suggests it's a polysaccharide vaccine that means it is made up of a polysaccharide uh, but the problem with this vaccine as it is made up of polysaccharide so it's not a good activator of immune system so your result uh, with this vaccine is not so good it contains 23 serotypes as the name is 23 valent means 23 serotype has been included in this vaccine of streptococcus pneumoniae and it covers 70 to 80% of the invasive serotype so those serotype have been included which are usually causing the invasive infections it is less immunogenic because of the polysaccharide component and having a short term immunity it provides the herd immunity uh, it's cheap but it does not provide the mucosal immunity that is the iga antibodies are not produced in this so so that is the key point that is of polysaccharide and it does not provide your mucosal immunity it is less immunogenic so it's uh, come with the name of pneumovax 23 and it is indicated in more than or equal to 65 years of age or the those patient with 19 to 64 with having any risk factor but it is not being given in the children Uh, as it is less immunogenic so it will not work properly then comes another vaccine that is a pneumococcal conjugate vaccine pcv13 now this vaccine is a as the name says conjugate vaccine so it has been conjugated with another vaccine it contains the serotype 13 serotypes are there it is conjugated with the diphtheria toxoid and it covers 30 to 40% of invasive serotypes it is more immunogenic so compared to the previous one which is 23 valent it is more immunogenic and it provides longer immunity so it comes with the name of prevnar it provides the mucosal immunity it's more expensive so as we compare between these two vaccine pcv13 as it is more immunogenic you can give this vaccine in the children uh, as uh, the 23 valent is not so immunogenic 
so it is not useful so that is the point which you have to memorize that you can give pcv 13 to children less than 2 years and this vaccine uh, uh, this pcv 20, uh, 23 valent that is being not given in the children then 23 valent is cheaper vaccine it provides herd immunity but it does not give the mucosamine so the total difference is there between the two vaccine and more than 65 years or 19 to 64 year with risk that can be given both the vaccine only the difference is the children so in children you can give the pcv 13 but the problem is that it does not cover all the serotypes maximum serotype are being covered in the 23 valent so what's the schedule for this vaccine that is the it is given after birth that is being advised and it is given with the dpt usually the vaccines because they are they are injectable vaccines so it is being usually being combined with some other vaccine so that the child compliance can be better so it is given with dpt at sixth week then second dose after four weeks uh, uh, gap is there that is 10th week then 14th week and booster is given at 15 months so in age more than 65 years we already know that we have to give this PPSV23 uh, you can give PPSV23 that is 23 valid you can also give PCV13 any one of you can give and that has to be followed by this 23 valid at gap of one year so there you have to give the two doses that has to be a gap of one year in case of 19 to 64, all those we having any risk factors, so there you have to give the PPSV 23, that's 23 valent, or you can give 13 valent, and that is to be followed by the PPSV. So that is uh, mainly those vaccines which are being given, pneumococcal vaccine, what are the advice? And uh, one thing, uh, what are the contraindications for this vaccine? As these are the intramuscular vaccine. So intra, it is a rule that any intramuscular vaccine, because they are injectable vaccine, so that is being contraindicated if there is any history of fever. So that is being, uh, if there is fever, any intramuscular injections are being avoided. Then second is, if there is any allergy, like you have given PCV13 or PPSV23, and first dose, if there is any hypersensitivity reaction or any allergic reaction, then it is being advisable not to give the further any doses. So mainly these two important contraindications are there, where we say uh, that you cannot give these vaccines. So uh, from this video, I, I hope that you must have learned how to, what are the different type of vaccine why this 13 valent is important and where this 23 valent uh, vaccine is important what are the contraindication what are the indication for pneumococcal vaccine where it is advisable and how it can be useful to the young children so that's all for today and soon i will come with uh, another uh, lecture on important topic if you like please give thumbs up and please share with your friends so that they also uh, get some information from this video thank you